Okay, I have a question to the hive mind of YouTube and to whoever comes across this video. Um, I know there will be demographics of people that would be sympathetic to my view, completely on board with my view, or thoroughly dismayed and rejective of my view. Before going forward, I ask to all that wish to reply, I hope that you would respond in all intellectually, intellectual honesty as that is where I am coming forward with this as well, being as intellectual, intellectually honest as I can. And it's regarding the Springfield, Missouri, um, seemingly potential mass shooter. Now in hindsight, it turned out he was doing what's called a 2A audit, where one would take a firearm into a situation to see the reaction of the establishment, people, things of that nature. I myself find myself uneasy with that premise in and of itself. I see it as a means of being provocative and really being damaging to your own cause, provided the details of any given circumstance. I always prefer conceal carry. Um, that said, he did not break any law. He was exercising his right. Now, I also think he was a complete fool in how he went about it. He is lucky he didn't get shot and killed. From what I have come to understand, he showed up in either a tactical vest or an armor plate chest with vest attachments to hold extra magazines, had a rifle slung at what's called low ready, which is right in front of you. So all you have to do is just grab it and point and shoot if you so choose. Hat and tactical gloves and and looked like he was showing up for a scene in Hurt Locker. That, I can see that presenting, you're projecting a probable understanding or misunderstanding of you're there to show up for a fight and not to just simply defend yourself or respond to an emergency. That affects the layman, the individual that is not hip on guns, all the way to those that are outright scared of guns. And I'm not saying that to be pejoratively denigrating to those people that are afraid of guns. I ask myself where an amount of decorum to respectfully and tastefully carry the tools with you because you have that right to, to keep and bear arms not keep and bear pistols, not keep and bear muskets, keep and bear rifles, just those things, but they say arms. He was within his rights. I think he was a fool. It was unproductive. I ask myself, does a certain amount of decorum to be implemented either culturally or with an established point of policy now, I understand that can go into a whole rabbit hole of good, bad, and ugly. Who decides on what policy and things like that. And state to state and all that kind of stuff. And I'm very not keen on big government dictating things to people. But I ask myself, where is an establishment of decorum and accountability for being overzealous with exercising your, your rights in terms of personifying yourself, in terms of your assumed agenda, especially on the heels of two mass shootings. Let's not forget that. And where does that all fall in the component of the of the Second Amendment of a well-regulated militia? I ponder that. I don't know. I don't know if it would to benefit to have something like that be put in place if it's applicable if it'd be wise, if it'd be damaging to our constitutional rights. But I can somehow 
see a through line to the same amount of decorum regarding First Amendment rights. That I have the right to say very nasty things, very uncomfortable things. But yet, I don't have the right to scream fire in a theater, to provocate, to potentially have people react to panic and, and hurt themselves, even though I never physically acted out uh, a action such as literally pulling the trigger. I ponder that. And to any of those that watch and, and conceive this, I'd be curious for your feedback. I don't have the answer. I just know that when I see somebody slinging a rifle over their shoulder, be it a bolt rifle or an AR-15, and it's behind their back and they're walking to Walmart, okay, whatever, you know, I'm, all right, man, you know, I, I'll, I'll stick with my pistol under my shirt and have proper mindset to react to something if need be versus carrying a rifle, but I don't, I don't see them as being wrong. It's just not my preference to showing up like you're ready to go to war. And the only thing that's happening is people buying toilet paper and rotisserie chicken at Walmart. And I find it also curious and frustrating that seemingly it's pro-gun people that can potentially do more damage to gun rights than anti-gun people. I find that disturbingly peculiar. Nevertheless, honest feedback. And, you know, if you want to get nasty and stupid, I don't care, and I'll just delete your ass. But respectful, you know, honest debate is how we grow. And I welcome it. You know, put it down below. I'll, depending on how I get responded to, I'll, I'll, I'll respond back. And because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to seek the answer to this. I don't know the answer yet. However, I am also sympathetic with the mantra of not one more inch either. Nevertheless, y'all take care. Please.